Alright, I thought I'd make a quick video on how to um, put a jet direct card into an HP LaserJet printer. Uh, the printer I got is a HP LaserJet 4050TN. TN just usually means I think it can use twisted pair, probably version N or something like that. Um, basically, it's capable of being a network printer. And this is what an HP jet direct uh, network card looks like. This is an older one. This is a 600N series. And uh, you can tell it's old because it, I can't even remember what this device is for here. I think this is to, um, I don't even know. This looks like a PS2 connector. Anyways, uh, this is your Ethernet connector. And this is old school coax connector or BNC connector. Um, you don't see this in networking anymore. So that kind of tells you the age of this card. Anyways, I uh, I got a hold of a newer one. It's a, um, boy, I don't even know what the number is. But it, it only has a network connector. I'll show you what it looks like here. So these connectors go to turn your HP LaserJet into a network connect. Uh, network printer that's the card there um, and this particular one is newer enough that where it only has an ethernet jack in there so what you do is you turn off your printer and uh, then with it off you can slide your card in and again I just took out this card and put that one in and then it's probably not going to work if you just turn it back on it's going to not even recognize that there's a jet direct card in there most likely and if you print out a configuration sheet um, you'll just get one and it won't make any reference to networking information. So what you got to do is something called a cold start and I don't know if I can do this with one hand. Essentially what you want to do is hold down the go button and turn the power on. Um, let's see, I'm going to have to put this down for a second to do that. Hold on, let me try this. And I don't know if you can see that, but it says cold reset, so I let go of it. And what that does is reset the whole system on the printer. And that's the key. If you're a network guy and you're doing a lot of these printers, if you're upgrading your cards or just putting new ones in, you just want to, um, when you put your card in, just slap it in there, turn off the power, hold down the, oh, turn off the power before you put the card in, put the card in, and with them hold that go button, turn the power on, and it'll do a cold reset. Right now it's all stars it's initializing the system right now and soon it will be done and I'll show you how to print out a configuration page okay uh, resetting factory settings or restoring I'm sorry now it says it's offline you just push O it's online um, so then you just go to your menu I'm gonna go to information menu click over the little arrow deal go from printer map I'm gonna go over to printer configuration and then you gotta hit select and now it's printing it out and it's saying uh, I wanted to print some kind of weird paper you just hit go on saying you want to use a letterhead or something like that it's just how it's got the trays set up but you just keep hitting go and eventually it'll grab the paper and then this is your standard sheet I don't know if that shows up but this is the one that you know is working because this one here I don't know if it's showing up, but it's got all your networking information. And key things you want to look for is make sure you got. Oh, that's kind of interesting. It didn't catch an IP address. Uh, a lot of times it'll just grab the IP address. It must have reset harder. So, anyway, so this tells you though that the JetDirect is working. And uh, so then you can. It looks like in this case I'm going to have to go into the menu and, and uh, tell it a couple things like. Um, Oh, it's initialization and process, so it probably just hasn't grabbed an IP address yet. Uh, essentially, once you get your IP address, you want to pay attention to your MAC address because that's real important. Um, and then uh, get it to get a, a DHCP IP, an IP address from your DHCP server. And then you can just go to your web browser, type that in, and finish doing your configuration there. Turn off stuff that you don't use, like... Um, Know, some of the older protocols that are probably turned on you just need TCP IP um, anyhow so that's hopefully that will help somebody out and that's how you get a jet direct um, uh, card working on an HP laser jet